This is Mr. Polarski and we're here with another video geometry lesson. Today we're going to be talking about the properties and relationships of parallel and perpendicular lines. Here we have three theorems. The first theorem, if two lines are parallel to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. So in this case, uh, line A is parallel to line C and line B is parallel to line C. Therefore, we can conclude that line A is parallel to line B. The second theorem today, in a plane, if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel to each other. So if we have two lines crossed by a transversal, and the transversal is perpendicular to both lines, then we can conclude that the two lines are parallel to each other. Next we have, in a plane, if a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is also perpendicular to the other. From the diagram, line L is perpendicular to line N, line L is parallel to line N, therefore we can conclude that line N is perpendicular to line M. Here we have a little problem. Suppose that the top and bottom pieces of a picture frame are cut to make 60 degree angles with the exterior sides of the frame. At what angle should the two sides be cut to ensure that opposite sides of that frame will be parallel? Well, I think it's going to be best if we make a diagram of what's going on here. We have the top of a picture frame and this angle right here has been cut at 60 degrees. And we would have that same and we would have that same piece along the bottom. What we need to do is find here. These thicker pieces are representing the sides that we need to cut. And we need to find at the angle we would need to cut these pieces. This is 60 degrees right here. This angle right in here is 60 degrees. And we need to find out what the measure of that angle is for them to be and have opposite sides parallel. Well, if this is 60 degrees, we know this is parallel to this. The best way to ensure that is to make this at a 90 degree angle, and that's the way picture frames are constructed. So if we just simply go 90, take away 60, that'll give us 30 degrees. So the measure or the angle of this cut right here for this shorter side needs to be made at 30 degrees to make sure both sides are parallel or both sides of opposite, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Study what is given, what you are to prove, and a diagram, then write a paragraph proof. Well, in this example, we're told that in a plane, A is perpendicular to S, C is perpendicular to S, and A is parallel to B. What we need to prove is that C is parallel to B, and we're going to use the theorems from this lesson to do that. First, we state our given. That A is perpendicular to S, C is perpendicular to S, and A is parallel to B. We're going to start with the fact that A is perpendicular to S and A is parallel to B. Since A and B are parallel and S is perpendicular to A, we can state that B is perpendicular to S. And that's because of the theorem we stated before. The number for the theorem was 311, but it states if a line 
is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, it is perpendicular to the other. So what we can mark then is that S is perpendicular to B. Now we know that B is perpendicular to S and C is perpendicular to S. So from that we can conclude that B, or we could write it or should write it as C, is parallel to B and that's because If two lines are perpendicular to the same line, the lines are parallel. And we have proved what we needed to prove. I hope this has helped you get you started on understanding the relationship between parallel and perpendicular lines in plane geometry. As always, please feel free to rate this video or leave a comment.